can't say no to the girl with the lashes. The girl with the lashes. Hi everyone, I'm Violet, and today I'm going to show you how to do peacock inspired eye makeup. If you want a full list of products that I'm using, just check out the blog post that I've linked below. This is the finished look. You can see it's very bright, lots of different colors mixing together. The first thing to do is clip back your hair. I'm assuming that you've already done your foundation routine. Whatever works best for your skin, I've already applied everything here. And then apply mascara. It doesn't need to be a super thick coat because we're applying false lashes anyway. The ones that I'm using are from the face shop and I'm using Lash Me Type 1 glue. Run the glue along the bone of the lash. Press it down as close as you can to the lash line. The glue that I'm using here comes out white and dries clear, which is a really good thing to have in a glue. The lashes I'm using here are really quite big um, because it's such a colourful look that they need to be able to hold their own and stand out as well and not get too overtaken by all of the pretty colours. <laughs> Ta-da! After you've applied your false lashes, the next step is putting on a thick line of liquid liner. I start by applying it across where I've applied the false lashes because you can use that sort of as a guideline. And then afterwards I fill in from where the lashes end in the inner corner right down to the actual inner corner of your eye. The one that I'm using is from Face of Australia and it's super simple to apply because it's got quite a flexible and long brush. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to be covering it up anyway. Now I use a highlighting colour. I'm using a really light cream to um, just go up and under your eyebrows to make your eyes appear just a little bit bigger. Now we'll start applying some of the colour. We're using a green pencil liner. I'm using quite a deep green here and just applying a little bit over the inner half of each eye, just above where the black is. Next we're using sort of a darkish blue to continue the line that you made with the green outwards to the outer corner of the eye. This is going to form the base of where all of our colours go. Next thing is to load your brush with a bright teal colour. This is one of the major colours of the look and so you need it to be really bright and shiny. Apply it up to the crease above the green liner and blend it into the liner as well. I'm using a really small brush here that's actually a concealer brush just because it helps to be able to have control over all of the small details. And of course I'm definitely not an expert in this, these are just the techniques that I use to do my own makeup so they might not work for you, you might need to change a few things depending on your face shape or the colours or products that you're using. Load your brush with bright blue and apply it with the teal up to the crease above the blue liner. So you should have something like this. Next load your brush with bright purple and again continuing where the blue left off we want to go outwards to the corner and form kind of like a C shape up into the crease. Now make sure you blend it in with the other colours. You want to blend all of these in fairly well as you're going because we're applying quite a few colours today. This tutorial I use a lot of different products to achieve the end look but you could really do it with a lot less. Even just having these three or four colours of shadow without everything else will get a really pretty peacock-ish look. <laughs> So this is what we have so far. Next we're going to load our brush with a lighter metallic purple and we're going to continue along the crease up at the top of the C that we made and just follow it inwards a little bit more pretty much to where your pupil sits when you're looking straight ahead, it's about halfway. And blend that into the green a little bit. Next, add a little of the lighter metallic purple 
to the outer corner of the lower lash line, just joining it up to the flick at the edge of the dark purple. Now I'm using Urban Decay Shimmer Powder um, and it's quite dark. It's almost black but it's got a purple shimmer to it so it gives a really pretty effect. What I'm doing here is blending it along the liner and then just up a little bit because it will allow us to blend the colours into the liner and make it a little bit more polished. And here I'm adding a tiny little bit to the lower corner of the lash line. Um, not as far as the purple, but just enough to give it sort of a little point. Next, using BYS Green Shimmer Stick, um, I'm applying from the inner corner of the eye, right out and above all of the other shadows. This really doesn't need to be neat because we're going to be blending it all in with a brush afterwards. You're basically just trying to get a decent amount of colour there so we can work with it. Next, use your brush to blend it, surprisingly enough. <laughs> you want to mix it in to the shadows that you've already got and blend it actually into the skin and upwards. Repeat on the other side. You can see the big difference it makes from just applying to actually having smoothed it out. I like to use my fingers too. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to control fingers than it is a brush. And there you go. So I decided to touch up some of the other colours um, just because I wanted it really, really bright. If you wanted, you could also wet the brush to add more pigment. You can see it's starting to take shape now. Now the gold. Load up your brush and apply a little bit to the inner corner along the bottom and then following the line up into where the green is and where the green's been blended just a little bit above there into the crease and stopping halfway along the eye. You want to be above where the purple ends but stopping just past it, if that makes sense. <laughs> it can be a little bit complicated so hopefully the visuals help. Touch up the jade a bit. Um, I found that after I put the yellow on, it got a little bit um, overtaken. So I just added a little bit more on top so it stood out using the brush. Then remove any of the fallout from the rest of your face using a blush brush or a powder brush or something. And then last step, lips. So I applied a little bit of lipstick and then a gloss over the top. You don't need anything too dark considering how bright your eyes are. And we're all finished. Fun and peacock inspired. <laughs> Just add some matching accessories, take out your hair and you're pretty much good to go. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the blog post. I really do love hearing from you. Hopefully you enjoyed this. A big thank you goes out to david at fashionaddict.com.au for providing most of the products that I'm using here. Thanks very much for watching. See you guys later. Bye.